Hey, good morning, good evening, good night, whatever it is for you guys. I hope it's a good one and welcome back to the channel. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk Porsche. Porsche has been a very, very big topic in the car community lately, especially with the recent crash of BC's Gimbala Mirage Porsche Carrera GT. And there's a lot of speculation going around as to whether that car is gonna be put up for insurance auction, whether BC and affiliates are gonna buy the car back and repair it, or if another YouTuber is just gonna go ahead and buy the car and repair it themselves. So with that in mind, I started looking on auctions and saying, okay, what other kind of insane deals are there? And there has been in the past other Porsche Carrera GTs that have went somewhere in the two three hundred thousand dollar region I'll put the price right here in the picture of it right there and there's other things like that as well and so I decided to see if I could find any gems of my own and so after a lot of research and a lot of looking into it I actually found this Porsche Panamera that I have sitting in front of me on my laptop right here this was especially difficult because most of the time when a car comes up on an insurance auto auction there won't be the aftermarket kit listed in the title of the car. Like for instance, like Mansory or Gimbal, they generally won't have the names up on the title. It'll just say Porsche Panamera, like this car right here. Now in case you didn't know what Mansory is, they're basically one of the most expensive, high-end, and kind of most clout aftermarket body kit companies in the whole world. But with that said, they also make some of the more controversial cars, such as this, this, and this. Rubbish, 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 rubbish. Controversial in terms of their styling. Now some people like them and they've had great success. They obviously haven't died off because they quote quote ruined these cars. But with that said, it is it is very uh, hit or miss with when people like them or not. Some of these kits can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like for instance, like the Mansory Bugattis. You can buy cars for the price of this body kit that you just plop onto something else. You know, they, they cater to the top 0.01% of people. According to Motor Trend, it says that it costs around $80,000 more than the already $160,000 fully loaded 2011 model year Panamera it's based upon, which would put that at, I'm only half Chinese, I can't do math, a $240,000 car. Now for reference sake, I think a Gallardo from that same era would cost around the same or maybe a little bit less, which is just insane to me that you can get a four-door Porsche, which at the time was very controversial in and of itself, for the price of like a Lamborghini Gallardo that had already been out on sale for I think about seven, eight years at that point. And so when I found one on auction, I couldn't quite believe it myself. All right, so now I have the screen recording going. I will show you guys the car. And so as you can see here, this is a 2010 Porsche Panamera Turbo S. Doesn't even say S on the title. Doesn't even say Mansory on it. But as you can clearly see, as I put a picture of a real like put together and fully assembled Mansory Panamera next to it on screen, this is a legitimate Mansory car with a full Mansory wide body kit. And you can see from the rear, it's single exit exhaust. You can see the Platinum Motor Cars license plate. It looks like it was just bought because it doesn't even have a plate on it. It has just the backing of the Platinum Motor Cars. And this really nice looking satin paint finish. And overall, it doesn't even look too bad of a crash. Like there doesn't seem to be any structural damage. And it doesn't seem, well, actually not looking at it closer. <laughs> this is actually the first time I've had a closer look at the car. Uh, one of the wheels is turned and then you go here, and then the other one isn't. So there is some steering or suspension issues going on in there. Um, so that's something to keep in mind when you're looking at an auction car. Obviously, I won't be able to afford this right now, but if you're like a really in-depth into the YouTube game and you are already kind of doing this sort of thing for a living, it would seem to make a decent amount of sense to consider something like a Mansory Porsche Panamera. And something that I was already saying before is that this doesn't say Mansory anywhere in the listing whatsoever. You don't know 
unless you really know. The main selling point for me that this isn't like some sort of knockoff rep kit is purely just the Platinum Motorcars license plate in the back because they are a very reputable dealership in I think Las Vegas, Los Angeles area. I could be one of those two or both. And they sell some of the most expensive cars in the world there. So this Mansory Panamera is definitely a legitimate kit. It's not some sort of Chinese replica car. This is the real deal Mansory car to the best of my knowledge. And just to kind of do a price breakdown of the panels themselves, I've done a little bit of research into the uh, prior Mansory cars that are clean title for sale in the past. And this claims to have $90,000 in aftermarket parts in this particular car. Now this looks very similar to the one that we just saw here up on auction. Uh, there is a slight difference in like the color, uh, potentially like the rear exhaust tips are different. But overall it is extremely similar. It's the same generation 970 Panamera that I think looks actually okay from here. This actually looks really good. I like it a lot. I really like this color. It's almost kind of like a metallic with a Nardo and it's on 80 V1s. It has a whole bunch of carbon fiber bits though and yeah I just really am a big fan of this car. It just looks so exotic for how cheap this potentially would go for on auction. Now this kind of satin looking paint is a little bit tacky in my personal opinion. Really nice looking satin paint finish. But I think it has a lot of potential if you're to like let's say respray it to this same Mansory, or is that tab here? Yes, yeah, you, you, you did see Mansory sunglasses. I was actually just about to order those because I lost my other Ray-Bans and I don't want to spend another $90 on a set of Ray-Bans when these are just six euros from Mansory Clout. Live a life of luxury, take a toast to Lux. But anyway, I think this car looks so exotic. It may not be necessarily beautiful to everyone, but it is a definitely striking car. That is one thing for sure. And the interior, they haven't changed the interior of the Panamera since 2010, and they barely made any revisions up until 2019 or 2020. And so the interior looks pretty much brand new by today's standard. Now there is that giant bridge of buttons that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. All of the interesting quirks and features. But the interior in my opinion does look really really nice and really really new considering that this is a 2010 car. Now this cream interior, okay this is a complicated topic and a touchy subject for me because as many of you know my M3 has a bamboo beige interior. I think it's it fits certain cars very well. I think it fits like the Ferrari 458s and the Ferrari specs are all great. And I think the M3, especially with the extended leather that I've shown in a couple videos ago in my Q&A, that'll link right here, you should go watch that. And I think that pulls it off extremely well and it looks super, super classy. However, with that said, when you start getting into the beige floors, and the beige top part of the dashboard right here, I think it just starts to get a little bit too cream. I think there needs to be a little bit of black contrast at least, so at least it's not 110% boomer, it's only like 50% boomer like myself. Here we are ladies, at the bowling club. Ooh, lovely. With that said, it does have some nice looking carbon fiber pieces on the center uh, dashboard, center console right there, and up on the dashboard as well. But if I was in the position to buy the car, whether I'd like re-dye it, whether I'd just get new seats out of a, uh, another Panamera that are black, or just do a whole interior conversion, I don't know. It's very hard to say. But in my opinion, I don't think this really suits the satin gray that it is, or just the aggressive kit as a whole. I think something like, something really brash, like a red with black, along with like a black ex exterior, like a, a metallic gloss black. I think that would look absolutely spectacular. And that would just like make the car look so much more like classy and like high end, whereas this just kind of makes it feel like a base kind of, I don't know, it doesn't really exhume or express like expense to me, like that image right there. It's also an insurance auto auction image, but that's besides the point. I just think this interior, okay, that's just an awful photo, I'm sorry. That's just, 
it's not even funny anymore. Um, but as you can see, this is just a very ugh, color to me. I don't know why this doesn't appeal to me at all. And then I got the tan interior in my M3 and I think that works. I think it's just because, like I said before, there is just not enough black to contrast that. And so with all that in mind, this car is not quite available for auction yet. There's no auction date for it yet. And I'm sure that'll be released at least some point in the future since the listing's at least there. But I'm very eager to see what that car will go for. And if you think I should do like either a live stream or like some sort of video on the result of the auction, let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd be interested in. But on that note, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Cheers.